Okay, we got a three bedroom, Elm Street, Weirton, West Virginia. Don't mind the rain, I'll be wiping off the lens a lot for this one. It's got a double car garage in the back. Um, you could tell it was an add-on, all the brick are uh, new. Um, this is a rehab project. It's going to need a furnace, hot water tank. Um, the electric is on and working. But it's nice it comes with this uh, double car garage. So you can see they added, this was an add-on, that's new brick. That's definitely an add-on. So is this, this is new, newer brick. Roof's good on the house. This looks good too. Um, but yeah, this is a nice garage inside. This is um, not as old as the house. Um, I'm not going to go in there. There's some personal belongings. I'm just not going to go in it. Um, but it's actually in good shape. It's got electric running to it. Yeah, nice, nice piece here in the alley. It was a wet couple days. Again, three bedroom, Elm Street, Weirton, West Virginia. The roof looks pretty new on the house. This is like, um, this is part of the add-on. I can get it open here. Oh, I'm going to just push on it. Oh, you can see this is all near a brick right here. And um, this is the original, original here, so definitely an add-on. This would be like a little cellar to store stuff in. Your uh, basement door. Definitely got to clean out a gutter. Windows don't look too bad. Pardon me. Should be it for the water. Okay, this is your foyer. Like I said, this would be a, a rehab project. Um, some of the material is uh, here. Some some of it will be left. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, I can help you out with that. So that was the living room we're in. This is dining room. These windows aren't terribly old. It's out the uh, back here. Okay, so now we are in the kitchen. It's gonna need a new kitchen. But that's not a big distance. We got some newer cabinets above here. Like I said, electric is on. Uh, one and a half bath. So there's like a, this is part of the add-on. Right here. Um, 
do get a newer toilet here. This is a half, a half bath. So obviously you can enclose this in, put a door here, get a half bath here, a full bath upstairs. That's where your plumbing would go. Our uh, cabinets. This is a hot water tank. It's a hot water tank. Sorry. This is where your stove would be. It's gas. It's got a cap on it right there. Closet to get to your plumbing for your bathroom. So this roof doesn't look terribly old. That's the architectural shingles. Um, so it don't look too bad. There's uh, one out of three bedrooms. Big garage. Good closets. So electric's on and working. This would be your smallest bedroom. This is, all these closets are big. Okay. There we go in the basement and finish this up. So there was a gas hot water tank that needs put in. It's not there. Same thing with the furnace. Furnace is taken out. Needs new furnace. But uh, I have a guy for that kind of stuff. So if you're out of town and interested, you know, my work isn't done. At the end of the deal, it sometimes just starts. I'll help you out any way I can. All right, so you got a, a hot water why, why am I brain that day? Gas meter um, that's in the house. This is where your furnace went. Which is no longer there. This is that back door we were at earlier. Electric's on. This is going to need updated. for your uh, dryer out outlet that's gonna need updated right here this is a uh, copper line going the street so that's good uh, here's your this be your hot water tank and there's your line put that sucker in and you'll be done um, yeah that's that's it uh you got any questions or anything 
can always reach me in my email, which is uh, keyrealestatellc1 at gmail. I'm going to give you a quick tour. This is uh, under the porch, in a storage under the porch. Didn't want to miss this last little room here. But uh, thanks. Like I said, if you've got any questions or are uh, wondering how you can structure this deal, uh, please reach out to me. I will um, help you out any way I can. Thank you.